Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching 412 PSC Customs here on YouTube. So, today's video is going to be another um, mechanical fix. I had a longtime customer stop by the house today and ask for some help. He has a broken rear window wiper blade on his 2008 Ford Edge. Um, and the reason I decided to do this video is because uh you know this is this is a fix that a lot of people will take to uh, a dealership and you know paying upwards of five to seven hundred dollars for um the dealership to change a part that you know runs about twelve thirteen dollars so uh on his wiper blade over the winter or the freezing months the part that accepts what you could just replace as the wiper blade it broke off and so did the wiper blade and that was the excessive snow the excessive ice in the extreme cold that we had this year uh broke this plastic part now <clears throat> the way these work um they have a little cap that covers the shaft and the 13 millimeter nut that holds these on these things pretty much just slide right onto a shaft um you know there's a spline on it that kind of grabs it and holds it in place and that's what moves it whenever you turn on your wiper blades this one i had a lot of trouble getting off now of course if you know anything about us we get it done uh safely any any means necessary so what I wanted to show you is, number one, you're going to need a 3 8 inch ratchet with a 13 millimeter socket. That's going to take the nut that holds this on off. And then you're going to need a heavy duty, pretty much grappling hook looking puller. Your very cheap, simple... Uh, two arm puller odds are not going to work to pull this off um, because of the spline shaft that these things are on boy they corrode and they, they I mean they get on there pretty good you're also going to need a shop towel because first and foremost before you start pulling on this thing you're going to want to hit it with some PB blaster uh, or other equal penetrating uh, liquid um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to show you me replacing this with the new one it's super simple um, you know basically I guess I'll show you how this grappling hook kind of goes on here the reason I have the rag around it is because of the PV blaster I didn't want to get it all over the paint didn't want to get it all over the window um, that's why I wanted to throw that on there and show you. Now, the way this works, obviously, is you have your grappling hooks that are going to hook onto the wiper blade arm. And the center pin is going to go on the shaft. Now, this is going to take a little bit of finagling. You know, it's going to take you a little while to figure out exactly how these hooks are going to set up. I think the way I did it was one straight on the back and then two on the end of it it took quite a bit of force to break this thing loose i'm gonna have to say all right so now that i have this one loose which uh, of course there we go all right got it off all right so i'm gonna take my shop rag and i'm gonna clean those splines up a little bit as much as I possibly can. Now, one thing I will show you between the factory and the replacement that our customer purchased, you'll see that little steel ring inside there. <clears throat> That's the factory wiper blade arm. But when you purchase the replacement, which will run you anywhere from 12 to $13, Unless you go to the dealership, then it might cost you 30 40 50 
This one doesn't have the metal ring on the inside of it, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, and the reason is because this little piece here, instead of being plastic like the factories with the steel ring, this is actually an aluminum. Um, that's an aluminum piece here. So our metal is already built into that. It's a casting. It's aluminum. It's just going to fit right over top of there. And when I start cranking on the 13 millimeter nut here, it's actually going to push it and press it down onto those splines. And it's going to cause that groove that you need to um, get in there to operate this. Okay, so now that we have our replacement wiper blade arm situated on here, um, you know, if you want to, you can tap this down a little bit. Not necessarily something you have to do, but we're going to take our 13 millimeter nut if you don't drop it. And we're just going to twist it up on here get it started with our fingers and then we're going to take as the ice falls off the neighbor's house we're just going to start cranking on this uh, make sure you have this in the position where you want it to start Right now that we have it tightened now what we want to do is replace the cap that covers your shaft and your nut keeps that protected we have our new spring-loaded arm on here with the new wiper blade comes all one piece now the way this works is you have a little latch hook here and then two spots here that'll just pop right over top now of course your factory is going to have one of these that covers this whenever you go to remove it let's see if i can get this thing to go on here all right so there's the cap that covers up your shaft, keeps it kind of as much out of the weather as um, you possibly can. Now, let's say this was the broken arm and we were just starting the removal. There is two latches, one on the top side, one on the bottom side. What you would just do is take your two fingers, pry up and down, and it'll pop right off just like that. Then of course you would PB blaster this, get it removed and off of there, and then use your grappling hook to remove that. As you can tell with our replacement, um, this is a cast aluminum section, which I'm actually a little more happy about than the factory plastic piece with the pressed in um, metal piece that goes over those splines. So yeah, there you have it. Now you have a brand new spring-loaded wiper blade on your back window, brand new wiper blade. You're all set, ready to go. 12 or $13 fix. Uh, I think the grappling puller that I used to get this off, uh, you can pick them up normally at Advanced Auto or... Um, any of your normal auto parts stores for roughly twenty dollars <throat> a little bit of pb blaster cost you five six bucks if you don't already have it which you know most of you guys should a couple shop towels to make sure you keep the pb blaster off your paint and off your window um the reason i wanted to show this is because i've actually seen a couple of guys try to pry on this with a screwdriver and um 
you never ever want to do that on glass. I've seen some guys take what is a 12 or 13 dollar fix and completely destroy a rear window. Um, very simple fix, it'll cost you, yeah, like I said, 20, let's say 20, 33, 40 bucks if you had to buy the grappling, the part and the PB Blaster all at the same time. Let's say you didn't have any of it. $40 fix as compared to five, six, seven hundred at the dealership. If you guys have any questions, put them down below, any comments. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button. You know, we ask that you guys subscribe. We'll have a lot more of these videos um, as we come across situations where we can uh, videotape these repairs and these replacements. Um, Real simple DIY fixes. Till next time, guys. Be kind to one another. Be safe out there. And stay healthy.